Okay. <clears throat> so she was tied up. I think it was something kinky. Probably got hurt. Still tied. Okay, so it was the rain kill killer. And then the anarchist tried to run. Broke her fingernail on the door, I guess. Got her hair caught. No, that's it. That's then that's, she was killed by him. That's that anarchist guy. Yeah, he's got the the spiked cuffs. And that's where she's dying. That's all <laughs> fucking the smirk. you need, Zach. Let's go back and show them what we found. We've solved this case. Nobody else. And they don't even know it. So, the... You were gone for three days, and why are your why is your clothing different? <laughs> so uh, I guess they left. Oh no! Have you seen any of these things before? No, not that I know of. But that raincoat is a little odd. Odd? In a town where it rains so much? Well. The people here rarely go out in the rain. I Why'd the moved here sound get all kind of quiet? I never really it's understood fine why. for me. Can you shed some light on this, George? No. Oh, well, there's an old story. Folklore. Mm, an old story. To me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. A vicious killer in a bright red raincoat. Just a foolish piece of superstition. A rubbish story someone made up. Not many people still believe it, but I guess it's a traditional place. Most of the shops still close up when it rains. School's out, too. Huh. And since there's no reason to go out, not many people ever wear raincoats. And now the raincoat killer has leapt out from his picture book. Oh, by the way, would you two kindly show me your backs? Our backs? Okay. Is this related to the case? The person with the upside-down peace mark in that photo we found. He's our killer. And what makes you so sure about that? Zack and I saw him kill Anna in the lumber mill. He killed Who? her. Right in there. Oh, one okay. thing. Please don't ask me about Zack. <laughs> private matter. It's a private matter. Anyway, by showing me your backs, we can clear up most of my concerns about you. Isn't that for the best? If you do want to remove yourselves from the suspect list, it will make things a lot easier. This is insane. Your methods are rude, insulting, and out of the question. And Emily is a female officer. Forcing her to show you her back is harassment. I don't care if you are FBI or not. <laughs> you are out of line. It's like, I'll do it. Hmm. George, it's okay. Let's just show him and get it over with. Emily, are you crazy? Look, we flash our backs and he'll start trusting us a little more. Right? Agent York? Right. Really? You're just gonna show me your back and I'll touch him more? Why okay. did it go very, very bright? It's, I don't know, the moonlight or something? The sun shining? I want to say that's probably... Are you satisfied now? Yes. My apologies. <sighs> now you, George. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can't refuse it now, can I? But don't expect to get your way all the time, Agent Morgan. Hmm. 
George. What are these scars? Just like your Mr. Zack. Something private. I don't have to tell you about it. Of course. Just like Zack. Okay. We can understand that, right, Zack? Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot yeah. from now on. I'm glad to say you're both pretty much off the hook. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for them to be like, we've identified Thank you for your another clue. The killer had a upside down peace sign on their chest. Is suspicious around here. It's Emily. He's the most suspicious. Uh, no, I'm sorry, but you're I suspicious. So. But he certainly is the most irritating. We've studied the crime scene. You know what we have to do next, Zach. George. Can we arrange to have the town folk gather in one place? There are some <laughs> things I want to address with the town folk. Very well. I'll arrange to have as many as possible gather in the community center tomorrow. Thank you, George. Thank you. <sighs> Just that slump on both of them? Yeah. <laughs> oh god, we gotta keep going with this guy. Total A, he's defeated 112, hmm. Number of continues, one. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. Yeah. Yeah. I was so close. But I tell you what, nobody stuck their fingers in my mouth. Really, all they're trying to do is give you the mandible claw. I don't see what the big deal is. I think they're trying to put the seeds in my mouth. Welcome back, everyone. Ah, uh, Thomas. Oh, Thomas, it is Biscuits. Past 2100. Let's meet up oh, come on, it's only 9 o'clock. <laughs> since this all started, to be honest. I'm exhausted. I was just about to suggest the same thing. I'll make arrangements for people to gather between 1500 and 1700. I'll try and get okay. as many people as I can to come, so don't be late. Okay, don't be late. I'll be there. Uh, that's 3 p.m. The community center's on the south side. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Thomas. Well then, see you tomorrow. Okay. So. Wait, that's... That's the mill that you were just in. Hop in a vehicle and get the fuck out of here. Why? Why? What what is this? Speed run through hell? <laughs> <laughs> repeat to other world. No thanks. Yeah, no, no, we don't need to repeat that. Yeah. Especially since we'll probably have to uh play that little quick time event again with the killer. Yeah. Okay. You still got the uh, infinite car? I don't know. Nope. Nope. That was a glitch. That had to have been a glitch. Okay. Well, so steal. where are we going? Um, I think we're going back to the hotel for the night. Which um down. No, we gotta go like around. Okay, okay, okay. You are not gonna make it anywhere with that car. I mean, I gotta try. Okay, okay, hold on. We have to, like, go back up. How do I get the headlights? You need headlights? Okay, did you hear that? What? What are you hearing? How do I turn off? Just drive. I'm trying to turn off the... What the f Oh my god. Just go. Uh, do not talk to yourself. 
Tremors. I think Fred <laughs> Ward was in it. You say Fred Ward, and I say... Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. That one was back in 85, I think. Directed by Guy Hamilton. I guess Hamilton was aiming to start a series like 007. But it had no sequels. A real shame. Do you remember the martial arts they used in that film? Called Sinanju? The ultimate in martial arts, using no weapons at all. Remo's Master Chun. Hey, I'm coming now.